what's up everybody so i was i was uh gonna record and show y'all you know this new game i got um and i kind of forgot to record oh lord but i'm gonna start recording now and just kind of talk about this cool uh game so it's called vermilion as you can tell and it's actually kind of cool um as you know i do king spray as well but um i'm a sign painter so it would make sense that i would want to see if i can do some signs in here um and it's a little tricky to get used to at first because you whenever you're painting for example if you're painting and you want to you like twist the brush like this if you can see the way i'm rotating it so it's hard to it's hard to twist it so if i'm going down and i'm going to do a sharp pointy edge it kind of it won't do it it's real tricky in real life you can you can kind of just roll it with your fingers as you're as you're turning with your wrist you roll the brush and it and it, and it hits the the little uh a little sharp point but for this one you got to figure out how to go about it so right now i have the 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 brush it's flat and it's in this game it's good to do for the bottom cuz if you try to do it like this it, it, you don't have as much control right here you can get sharper lines so good to just tap it that way do all the horizontal ones first and that's good for now so now when you want to hit these lines going vertical i would i would um oh god damn it i would say hold the brush like this it's more paint and just go straight down whoa kind of tricky i gotta i gotta fix the brush right there you go it's not easy but it's doable i think there you go and i'll go ahead and just do uh oh do this line straight down oh no do this line straight oh no jesus let me do that again okay and i'm gonna rotate the brush so i can hit that curve right there oh there you go i'll probably have to tighten up that a little bit Get some more paint. Hit this curve. And then. I mean, it's not the best, but. <sighs> Whew, that is a uh, very. Uh, Oh, it's very hard to do. Hold that. Let's try to do this V. Great. Uh oh. If you can learn to do it fast, this thing's actually. I need to move a little bit. Oh man. Touch it up. See, in real life, I would just fucking do it once. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see. How would I hold that? Uh, Alright, that's cool. Okay, that's fine. It's weird to hold this brush. It's like you gotta find the right... You gotta rotate it. Uh... I'll just do that. Oh, God, 
God, that's so hard. I think I could do a better one. I'm wondering if it'll be easier if I stood up and did this. Got a message on my offer up. No, Lord. Yeah, you see, it's kind of difficult. There you go. Hmm. Not too... Let's do that again. This reminds me of painting glass. Because <sighs> there's no... Like when you're painting a brick wall, you can... With your hand, you can lean on the brick wall. And you can apply you know pressure of the brush but when you're on glass you're you're literally gliding the paint with the very tip of it because once you apply pressure to glass it'll leave streaks so you you're basically just you know gliding the paint across and this is kind of kind of reminds me of it like you're floating your whole arm Oh Lord. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh. Alright, let's try to do this long little line. I think that'll be a good angle. Like that. So, so if y'all don't know what Burma shave is, um, Oh dang! It is a um, a company back in the day. I guess they sold shaving cream and shit. And they would put these. They would put these signs, these red signs that were known for their Burma shave signs, right? And they would put them on the highways. Oh shit! Hold on, give me a second. Ooh, that was hard. They would put them on the highways, and they would uh, put these cool little slogans not even slogans they're kind of like poems or and they would and they would say you know funny stuff um i can't remember there was so many but they were real catchy so when people would cross country um they would um they would have something to be entertained you know every time they saw the the burma shave sign they knew that they would um they were they were in for something some cool little god dang it they knew that they were in for um, some cool little signage afterwards. And there were like red signs spread out. And they would say, you know, like roses are red, visors are blue, blah, 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 blah. So the first sign would say, roses are red. And like, I don't know, 200 feet, the next one would come up, 200 feet, and the next one would come up, you know, and it would be entertaining for uh, whoever's driving. And this was back in the day whenever, you know, it was boring and nobody really had shit to do while they were driving. All right, so let's try to fill this in. I mean, this is going to be easy, honestly. Like, So when I fill in with a squared brush like this, I kind of like to hold it like this. And I like to just, I go up with it like that. You know, it's easier to control. This is kind of how I do it in real life. Kind of. In this game, and this is probably the best way to do it. It's easier to control. There's also a song called Burma Shave. You look it up. I really like it. My son likes it too. We haven't heard it in a while, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, this uh, this game's not too bad. It, it's fun. It's fun.
it's fun to, you know, learn what you can do with it. I can see myself actually uh, trying to do something in here. It is it is difficult though. There's a lot of cool features though, like like reversing. So like if you do a line and you don't like it, you can like say I fuck up, I can do back and it'll erase it. Or like I said, if you wanna. The, the tip of my brush you can erase the color like that without having to use your your napkin to take it off you know what I'm saying um, also if, if you're doing something here and you're like oh dang I need I need to remove the last say say you put red in here and you're like oh I need to remove the last one you could do it like that or like that if you want to erase the board completely like say there's colors everywhere and you got them all over the place, you can just completely erase your board, which is tight. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. What I'll, what I'm end up doing, not really, but I don't know. What if I, what if I just hold a real brush in real life and try to use it as like some sort of stock or something? Oh, you see how it's shaking? Like, that's me, literally, right now. One thing that I suggest is if you're going to paint, paint up against a desk. Because, look, I'm at where, where, where my brush is laying right now, that's where my desk is my in real life. So I'm going to lean my elbow. My elbow's right here. So I can lean and just kind of relax and, and paint. Because if I didn't have that desk, I'd be floating in midair and... It'd be very hard to do. Yeah. I need to fix that U. I'll probably have to come back with the black. There's there's a bigger brush. Let's see what. Let's see what big brush we can use. Oh wait, I forgot to show you something. Uh, uh all right. So I can make the, the brush bristles bigger like this. Dang, that's kind of cool, right? Let's keep it like that. See, see if that helps make us go faster. Oh dang! Look, you see all that paint that buckled at the bottom? Not cool, y'all. It is faster though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh no. That's crazy how the paint buckled right there. That's that's <laughs> it's kind of cool. Oh lord. Oh man, this is so uh, tedious. Oh man. Ugh. Damn, it buckled right there too. So if you don't know. The more you keep painting an area, you know, more paint's going to buckle right there. Watch, I'm going to do it up here. Look, See, I'm going to put like a couple strokes down and it buckled right there. So the way to prevent that is if you just go one switch, uh, sw one smooth motion like that and try not to stay in one spot too long. And that's really important when you're sign painting. It's like, oh shoot, oh god, Jesus Christ, this is hard. It's important when you're sign painting because it looks like you're an amateur if you if you have paint like that just all buckled up and it doesn't look smooth. Oh no, then um, you know you look like a fucking weirdo. I'll make that a little bit smaller. See how I did it right there again. I don't know. This is my first attempt with a sign inside this inside VR. I'm pretty sure I eventually find 
smoother way to do this. Or maybe I'll end up picking a different brush. I don't know. This is the closest thing I can find to a um, fine painting brush. Oh lord. No. Oh lord. Oh man. That is not fun. Oh god. It's like every time I put the brush down, it's like I'm not doing what I wanted to do. Oh. Hey, look, that looks like a little person. Like he's running. Look. And then this is his tail. Or oh, like a like a rabbit. Like that's one ear and then like that's another ear. Whatever. God. Yeah, this game's cool. I like it. Oh, I forgot to do that R. Mm -hmm. So this game allows you to work in layers as well. So originally I put this black down. I put the black down on one layer and then I put the white above it because if I uh if I put the black down and then just put the white over it it would it would smudge you know like like oil paint would do in real life so look you see that paint the buckled oh maybe you can move it around that's cool Yeah, I can uh, I can fix these curves with like a smaller brush uh, whenever I'm done. You will see. It'll look cleaner. Hit that better. Let me uh let me do this part over here. Nah. I guess I'll just man that looks so bad <laughs> it's bothered me so let me see if I can remove it Phew. oh look I just did Dang, that's dope what about this part it almost seems like there was more white over there let me try to take off that in part look that's not too bad Jesus what happened over here oh man I'm gonna have to clean that up with the black Let me see if I can raise this up a little bit. You know what uh what would be really cool is if they implement drips you know like because if you were to stay in one spot too long with this brush like, especially down here it would just drip that would be great Oh man. See these strokes going upwards are way easier. Uh. look too bad I mean compared to my real life stuff yeah it's horrible but as far as first time in the game and I could definitely see progression 
Look, this see me going. <laughs> the fact that the brush doesn't even really move. Look, it's not even moving. Like, if I go down, oh yeah, it is. Look, oh dang. Well, I guess that shut me up. It's uh, with with there's like downstrokes like this. That's fun, and then there's the other way. You gotta find which way suits you. I'm gonna have to fix that V with the black. Oh man. Oh man. Jesus. Almost done. Let's go ahead and make this one. Oh, make it huge. No. Well, huge right here in this area. That'll be fine. What the hell? The hell is not even. Not even painting right. That's weird. What the heck happened? I think I messed up the brush somehow. Like, I'm only. Like, I did something. Oh, there it goes. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now it's a little bigger. I guess I put some sort of setting where it only allowed a bit of paint or something. That's another thing I noticed right now about this game. Is it a... Oh, God. It, like, automatically saves, like, as you're painting or something. And it kind of, like, freezes. Not freezes, but it, it does, like, a little glitch. So, you want to be careful with that. I can fix that. I'll fix that with the black. Whew. Yeah, this ain't too bad. Actually kind of impressed by it. See, I just figured out a good way to hold this control when you're doing lines like this. You're kind of holding it not like a game controller, you know, not with your palms, but your with just your fingers, kind of like you're holding a. Let me see, like, um, like you're holding a cookie in your hand by the diameter, you know. I don't know. Oh man, this, this these lines are harder here. Uh, uh, Definitely want to take off those little smudges. That looks bad. Let's lower the brush. Motherfucker. See, it like twitched and, and it did that. I didn't do that. All right, let's uh, let's make this part sharp. There you go. All you gotta do is just place it and it'll or just get close to it and it, it will um hey why doesn't this brush the size doesn't change on that one
Ooh, damn, look, see, I just messed up my my lettering, but thank God. Uh, ooh, look, I can throw a 3D on it now. But I'm already done with the letters, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's turn this off. Oh, great. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's go back to layers. Can I delete this layer? Shoot. I don't even know if I can delete that layer. How would I? I can't even move them. That sucks. I can't even hide nor... What the hell? I have to keep it black? Let's try a red. Let's try to get a red. Can I move these bristles? Yeah, and these bristles don't even... uh, They don't even get big either. Oh, let's do that again. Ah, oh, crap. How am I going to do this? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, man. That sucks. How would I hide this layer? Here, let me, um... Um... Palette... Can I even move it? That'd be cool. If I can just at least move it... That'll be very helpful. No, I can't. We're gonna try to make this red by using a whole bunch of black. How about we uh, screw this up? How about we'll just do, we'll just get creative with it. We'll do like a red. under under swash and it'll give the impression that it's a Burma shave sign with some style you know what I'm saying that's kind of cool oh shit you know what I forgot to do oh crap oh can I erase that damn I totally fucked up I'll explain why in a minute Too late now, there's no turning back. Too late now. That looks kind of Burma shavy. Okay. So the reason why I fucked up is I wanted a clip those that white you know but I can't do it now because I got this stupid red if it was all black I can take the black and clean it up but let's try let's try to clean it up with this oh god that's horrible all right hold on I gotta I gotta figure something out here let's take this rag we're on the first, we're on the red layer. Let's see if we can make something cool happen here. Oh no, that's horrible. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, um. Oh, crap. All right, I guess we'll do another layer. Yeah, we'll do another layer. And we'll get this one. We'll clean it off. And we'll get some red. This is going to be the only way I think I can clean it up. Wait, it's not even red. Yeah. Um, oh, Lord, this is so hard. Can you see that? The only way it's going to work. So. Oh, God, this is so hard. Oh, no. Yeah, this is difficult. This brush sucks. Like, I hate this brush. Oh. See, like, now that this part's dark, it's gonna... 
going to stand out, you know? Unless I get that exact red. And if there was a paint dropper or something, I can extract a color. That'd be cool. Um, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just look for the worst parts, like the worst parts. So it's these dark colors. So I'm going to try to make that color. Put some... Come on, stupid. I need to raise this up. I'm going to just make multiple shades. Red. And whatever one, whichever one looks the best. That one looks like it would be this one, so. So, yeah, I kind of fucked this up, but it's my first time on here, and I guess I didn't realize the layering, how the layering would work, but um, the next one would be, like, clean. Yeah, this brush is really weird. I don't like this one. <sighs> okay, see, that's a lighter red, so I'll go with, like, this one right here. I'll go with this one. That looks lighter. Where was it? Right here. Ugh. Yeah, this brush is it, just... It's like the worst brush. I hate it. Let's try, uh, let's try this one. Try to rotate that. Actually, the sharp part would be at the bottom. I don't want it too big because then you'll, you'll be able to see the... Um, a little bit of paint on it you'll be able to see the, the, the difference you can use as little bit as you have to smallest amount e oh that's so hard the hell did I just yeah I did that okay this part looks kind of bad that part looks kind of bad I need to clean that real quick. I think this one will do the trick. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna try to clean up this line. I think it's this color. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it this way though. Make it bigger. And I'm gonna drag it like that. Let's see if it does the trick. Oh man, this is so stupid. Oh. <laughs> Hell no, dude. Let's try again. Oh, you know what? No, I don't know. Wait, hold up. Let me try to clean the line up. Oh. Oh. God, that's difficult. No, that's so wrong. Here, let's do this. Man, what the heck? Clean that one up. That one's cool. Clean that one up. Cool. I need to clean that one up. I think that's just a regular red. Clean that you up right there. Oh man, that's difficult. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting kind of um pissed off here. Not really pissed, but you know, pissed. I'm gonna just leave it like that. I think, uh, I think we're good. I think that's a pretty good Burma shave. My Burma shave sign. Maybe I should. Nah, I can't even sign it. It's super hard. I already get this. Hold on. Let's save this real quick. Save painting. Okay, hide that. I'm gonna s sign it in red. Shit, uh, is it kind of sign in the back? Nope. Oh, what? Look, there's a mark over there. How would I even sign this? Since this is so hard.
There you go, guys. Graph a lot. I'll put the year. Cause that's uh, what what I do. Oh, that's what I do. I'll put the year right here. Oh wait. Twenty. Yeah. I gotta fix that G. Oh no. Yeah. All right. I think we're good. Let's have a look. Yeah, we did pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, hold on. Let's let's save it real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and export. So if you want to export, you go to uh, this one. So I tried all these, um, the studio photo, it basically, like, let me show you studio photo is, is this view where your studio is in the back and is if you were here, just taking a picture. Ouch. Gallery photo is, I believe it's without the texture. It's like real smooth. No, gallery photo, I believe, is the texture. And then neutral is just flat, like no texture. But um, I'm going to save it at 8K. 8K, I'll do. I'll export the studio version. I'm going to I'm going to export all three versions. And neutral. This 3D model. Um, I think you would have to open it with a program that that allows 3D photos or 3D models to be um, viewed. I think Windows has a version like you can open it through the 3D viewer and then you'll be able to like rotate it and you'll be able to do this like you know see it all cool and shit but anyways um, alright well thanks for uh, hanging with me here.